Uh, before we get started, we just wanted to remind you to stay until the very end of this video to see the April Fool's joke that I just played on Danny just barely. So if you want to see that, then stay tuned until the very end because I'm mean and I'm going to make you wait that long. I'm Danny. Let's have some have fun. fun. Happy April Fool's Day. Today's video is very special because April Fool's Day means a lot to us. And here's why. Shh. Number one, um, that's the day Danny proposed to me. So we're going to be telling you our engagement story. Number two, we love April Fool's Day so much, or at least I do. Danny sucks at it, but I'm really good at it and I get him every single year. And number three, I just got it on a video. And, and by the way, P.S., it is the exact same prank I pull every freaking year and he always forgets. Are you ready to tell our engagement story? Yeah, let's talk about love after I'm really Okay, PO'd. so once upon a time in the land of uh, Manti? You, is that a city? That is a city. A temple? In once upon a time. Town. Once upon a time. And. In, would you like to tell the story? <laughs> once upon a time in the land of Manti, Utah, 2000 and sickening. April 1st, 2004, 12 years ago today, um, we had already like, of course, talked about that. getting engaged. We had picked out a ring already together, blah, 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 blah. And one day Danny was like, hey, Shani, do you wanna go for a drive with me? And I was like, sure. And so we start heading south and Danny turns to me and he says, Shani, um, how do I get to your favorite place? And for those of you that want to know, my favorite place is the Manti Utah Temple. And the temple is part of our religion and that's where I always wanted to get married was in that temple. And so whenever I was having a bad day, I would drive down south and go and visit the temple and just sit outside. And it was wonderful. So he knows that's my favorite spot and he knows that's where I want to get married. I mean, we're driving and he's like, how do I, how do, just out of curiosity, how do we get to your spot? And Real I'm quick, like, time out. We didn't have smartphones back then. They were really expensive back then. So, I mean, they didn't, there was nothing, there was no GPS, there was no uh, maps or anything. So I was very, and I've only been there like once before. Okay, show. Sue me. So anyway, we passed the exit that he was supposed to take. And I said, well, actually that exit was the one you're supposed to take. He's like, oh, okay gets off the next exit, turns around, gets back on and takes that exit. She had no clue. So obviously no I knew what was, was happening. No, I knew where we were going. Nah. I knew where we were going. Yeah. It's, it's pro is it an hour drive, hour and a half maybe? Yeah, it's almost, it's almost two actually. Yeah, it's pretty far. So on the drive down, Danny was holding my hand and shaking like crazy. It was so cute. Like I knew it was gonna happen. And it was perfect because it was my perfect day my perfect weather it was rainy it was cloudy which i love i don't like the sun so we drive down we're, we get to manti so obviously he's like oh i just want to take you here just to chill i'm like okay so we get out of the car keep in mind it is raining and i do love the look of the rain but i don't like the feel of it it's pouring rain i am wearing overalls a short sleeve shirt and flip-flops and danny is wearing shorts a shirt like a t-shirt and um sandals we get out of the car and um, we're walking around the temple grounds and it is very muddy, it's very cold. Um, the grass is pretty much all mud and <laughs> really, really cold. And so we're walking around the temple and I'm thinking to myself, okay, he's gonna do it here, he's gonna do it here. Like every little bench we passed, every little garden center we passed, every little romantic looking setting place we passed, I was like, hey, he's gonna stop here and do it, blah, blah, blah. Can I intercede it right now and again? Remember where you were, okay? You guys, you have no idea. I was so over, head and over heels for this girl. Like, oh my, I was freaked out. I was freaked out. I was literally freaked out. So yeah, I saw all these bots. I'm like, oh, that'd be good. Ah, and then I would freak out and walk past it. I'd be like, why didn't I do that? 
where am I going? So I'm just like leading her around and getting just soaked and wet. And I don't, I... You're cute. You're I, really was, sweet. I was just really, really nervous. Because I wanted you to say yes. So, we're walking around. We circle the temple probably four or five times, kid you not, and over like, what, a half an hour at least. And finally, <laughs> he takes me up on this hill that's kind of like by the temple. And he takes me to the very top of the hill and it's super muddy and super wet and super, like we're both freezing. My feet are about to fall off. It's like really romantic. <laughs> I am so mean. <laughs> so, Danny. <laughs> I am so mean, you guys. So, Danny stops and he looks at me and he kind of just holds me like that. He didn't get down on one knee um, and he just kind of just stood there and looked at me and he just, you know, said the normal, like, I love you very much and my life changed when I met you and I never imagined in a million years that I would meet such a wonderful woman and, and my partner and my eternalness because I love you and that's all. And he like went on and on and on because he does that when he's nervous and it was really cute. Um, so I'm like just waiting for it. And <laughs> finally he reaches into his pocket and pulls out the ring and he, and, he, and, he, and he says, this is what he said. He said, so would you marry me? <laughs> and then I said, <laughs> Keep in mind that it was April Fool's Day. You really need to tell them what happened. What did you say, Shannon? I said, I'm sorry, no. At that moment, don't talk. At that moment in my brain, time stopped, number one. And I was, I couldn't even think of words. It's like, what, what do you say? What do you say? What do you do? I drove her all the way out here. We've been dating forever. I'm pretty sure she's the one. What the heck do you say? It was time stop and just mind fried. So then I said, April Fools! Of course I'll marry you. Blah, blah, blah. But he was sweating. He was crying almost. He was like, but we picked out the ring together. I thought this is what you wanted. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just not. Why did we pick out a ring then? Why did you pick this ring and we decided we want to get married in the summer and now you're saying no, what's the deal? <laughs> so finally I was like, I'm kidding. <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> it really was sweet. And then I broke down and I kissed him and I loved him and it was really sweet. Like our whole <laughs> dating relationship was us playing pranks on each other and teasing each other. So Okay, so then after he proposed, we got back in the car. We're both happy, we're both crying, blah, 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 blah. So I, first thing I do is call my mom. So I pick up my phone, call my mom. Mom, I'm engaged. And she's like, oh, how did it happen? And I was like, oh, he took me to Manti, the Manti temple and proposed right outside. And she's like, oh, did he get down on one knee? And I was like, no. And she goes, what? Like I could hear the what over the phone. I literally heard He didn't get down on what. one knee? And I right then and there thought, should she's I like, slam on the brakes now and just turn around and go do it? Or do she's I like, I'm going to need to have a chat with that boy when you guys get home. So we get home finally and I show her the ring and she's all excited. Blah, 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 blah. So I go and lay down on the couch and I fell asleep. And I woke up. This was so sweet. So sweet. I woke up to Danny kneeling right next to me, right to the couch. And he had the box. I was wearing the ring, obviously, but he still had the box. And so right when I opened my eyes, he said, hi, I love you. Will you marry me? And I was like, yeah, that's so sweet. Cause he was on one knee. And then he was like, Becky, I did it right. <laughs> it was like, yay. <sighs> so that's our engagement story. Okay. So now that you know what a good April fooler -ness I am, then Brat. I got on film today. So, here is the footage of the kitchen sprayer sink thing getting Danny. Not like two. Mm -hmm. Man.
Oh man. Yeah, oh. baby! Sucks. Every year, every okay. year. First of all, <laughs> it's March 31st. I know, but okay. we're March YouTubers. 31st. No, when you're a YouTuber, you have and to do things the day before. I have been planning to do that to you tomorrow. <laughs> no, you have For like a week. Oh, no, yeah. you have it. I saw this. You completely I like, oh, forgot. No, Don't I did even. not forget. No, in fact, do I was not even thinking. Even. I was actually outside just thinking, <laughs> what the heck am I going to do to outdo that? <laughs> April Fools! March 31st, just count. Matter. Nice try. Couldn't be patient and wait for tomorrow. Nice could you? hat hair, too. You just look all kinds of lovely right now. For the record, how kind was I to do an onion? Okay. Of course, honey bee. Anything you want, sweetheart. Wow. No, I'm not cleaning this up. Let me clean it up. Have a nice day. So you're not going to chop my onion? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was funny, right? Okay, now for the real record. Number one, it's March freaking 31st. What did a week do? Ah, number two! I had that plan to get her tomorrow morning on the actual first April Fool's Day Hands for like, fish. that's weird because I've been sawing wood all day. That's weird. I've been planning this to do that to her for like a week straight. I'm not even kidding you. She doesn't believe me, but I don't care. I have been planning that for a week to do that to her. You never plan. You always forget. I know. That's why I'm so pissed off because I actually planned it out. <laughs> so officially. Didn't count, because it's the 31st. Can I say my argument now? You already did. No, I didn't. You gave me three, you gave it three. I have a fourth. Number four, Whoa. we have both agreed a long time ago that now that we're YouTubers, you have to celebrate- A long time. You have to celebrate holidays the day before. <sighs> Why was that wet? Why? I don't know. Why was that wet? You have to film things the day before the actual holiday. Like, we're not going to film on Christmas Day, but we want to post on Christmas Day. What? And so we would film Christmas Eve and make it for Christmas Day. What? I didn't sign so nothing. So, April Fools! <laughs> Happy April Fools Day! <laughs> You're so mean. Why did you marry me? Okay, so there's our engagement story. We hope you enjoyed it. I know that we went out of order. Last time we did the story of how we got together, and in the comments, everyone was like, okay, next do the hand-holding story, and then the, the I love you story, and all that stuff, and we're still gonna do that, but we wanted to do this today because it happened exactly 12 years ago today. So that's what this was, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, our next story time video will be our first time we held hands and the first time we said I love you, which is which was also really, really cute. And do you still love me? Yeah, pretty much. So anyway, so don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, do all of the things. Thumbs up. And join me every Tuesday and Wednesday where I talk about my eating disorder and every Friday where I do a fun video either alone or with this guy. So that's all. I love you. Thank you for watching. You are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too, apparently. You really are. I totally should have shown that, but whatever. Thank you for watching!